Good evening, everybody. In high school football, Fairfield hits the road to face Knoxville. The Trojans will be looking for more consistency on both sides of the ball. As far as uh, we're concerned, we just need to take care of ourselves and, and uh, eliminate turnovers and uh, try to eliminate big plays. And I think if we can do that, we can have some success. Kirksville will face Marshall Friday. The Tigers played better on defense against Moberly, but the offense never got going because of knucklehead penalties. Right now, it's we can't have Tigers beating Tigers. Uh, we've got to make the other team earn it. Um, but I think that, you know, coming into the season, they knew that we we're going to have to work hard, and they've been working hard. Knox County will put his two-game winning streak on the line against Paris. What have the Eagles been doing right the last two weeks? Just execution has got a lot better. Um, we've improved, especially on the offensive line. We have a lot of experience uh, along the offensive line, but we have seen some different things. Uh, the defense that are trying to do to us, so we're trying to adjust as uh, people are adjusting to us. In college football, Truman State heads to Detroit to face Wayne State. The Bulldogs will need the wide receivers to step it up. Obviously, 50 yards passing with four wide receivers is, is not going to uh, win you many football games. So we certainly have got to do a better job of throwing, catching. Uh, on a positive side, uh, we didn't have much pressure. Our offensive line did a pretty good job. In cross country, the Kirksville girls finished second out of 23 schools at Chillicothe. Individually, Erica Wolmering won the meet for the third year in a row with a time of 2049, while Lauren Gaines was fourth. On the boys' side, the Tigers' Duncan Clark bested the field. Team-wise, Kirksville was fourth, while Parker Peterson was fourth individually. In high school golf, Kirksville was hosting its last home meet of the year. The Tigers' Emily Van Ree with a nice chip shot. She tied for seventh place after shooting a 47 teammate Chloe Pino shot of 51. Cassie Martin of Macon finished with a 44. She was fifth. Teammate Paige Hawkins shot a 42. This is Julia Bowers of Rockbridge. She shot a 40. Good enough for second place. Team-wise, it was Rockbridge, then Macon. In softball, Macon lost to Knox County 4-3. It was Atlanta 7, Higby 2. In high school tennis, Kirksville beat Chillicothe 7-2. In college tennis, the Truman State women lost to Lindenwood 6-3, while the men lost 9-0.